Hey everyone, sorry for the long delay between videos. This is this video is going to be a kind of a break from my normal routine. So um, if you were expecting one of my normal videos, uh, I do apologize. Uh, hopefully you will understand here once I've gone through. I've been holding off doing the this particular video for a while now. And it really kind of relates back to a, a problem that I've been slowly developing over time. Uh, part of it is, uh, you know, my own issue and struggles with uh, my bipolar nature. But also part of it is a difficulty and a frustration with the repetition that I've gotten stuck in with Hellion. It's constantly the same setup and run through of episode after episode of you know, getting set up, getting everything put together, and then an update or something comes out and I'm wiped out back to square one. And it, it has reached a point with me where uh, I, I have a real difficulty because on the one hand, my work schedule does not allow me enough time to play Hellion uh, on the multiplayer servers because I may go away for you know one to three weeks at a time, you know, and not be able to to do the recordings, or I may simply just not be able to do a recording for a week. Or more or five or six days and if I have not updated all of my nano cores at the beginning and end of every video then I find myself in a situation where I unfortunately cannot continue a series because uh, on a multiplayer series along with the fact that uh, getting raided by other players just uh, destroys my ability to have the control necessary for an ongoing series but also it the the fact that every time I come back if I haven't if I if I don't come back on a regular schedule then I run the chance of everything having blown up and having to start all over again and this is extremely frustrating it's very difficult for me to get fully into the game and be able to I don't know uh, be able to, to to get the most out of it because I feel constantly pressured to make another video uh, to to log in every single day and do an hour but when I do that I can't make any real progress because I have to spend, you know, an hour or so every day going in and just mining resources, getting the things I need in order to propagate and continue the the game on its existing trajectory, as it were. And that is exceptionally frustrating. Uh, I, I can't begin to describe how difficult that is for me to just accept. So the other side, the other option, is for me to do it in single player, which is what I was doing previously. However, this comes with uh, a major drawback as well, which is that single player is really, really dull. The threat of other players, the, the, the potential that somebody out there is stalking you in space, that, that constant looking over your shoulder is something that makes the game more fun. Uh, the other thing is the, the lack of anybody to play with is equally as disheartening. Uh, and so it's it's the making recordings has really become a chore. Uh, every time I hit a depressive cycle in my bipolar, it just uh, it becomes so difficult 
to muster up the energy necessary to do an episode and I I can't keep going on that trajectory because it's not going to turn into anything good uh, so I have I've entered into talks with some other individuals that I know who play to try and find a a happy middle ground something where I can drop in and I can play but I don't have to be constantly worrying about the state of my position where I don't have to constantly be worrying that I'm going to come back to a blown up station or that everything's going to have gone to hell while I was gone. So I'm not sure how those talks are going to go. Uh, we've talked about me doing a pop-in sort of pop-in play on a gameplay f you know on a on a uh, a limited access server so it's you know not not one of the public servers but one that has a decent amount of activity uh it just really depends uh, i am definitely looking for something to break up the monotony uh, for now i am kind of taking a, a short break because i have uh, a couple of projects at work that require more attention right now and so ramping up towards the holidays I'm a little bit I'm, I'm, I'm slowing back down a bit uh, for recordings but I wanted to at least put it out there that that I haven't just gone dark and I haven't forgotten about what uh, you know all of the support that you guys have given me uh, since I started this I mean I think we're almost to I want to say like 300 subscribers now let me let me look here how many subscribers do I have here 300 yeah we're we're over 250 and uh, you know the the love and, and support and everything that you guys have shown me uh, since I started doing this has really been amazing and it's one of the things that's that's helped that helps me keep going even when I've had like a rough spot at day uh, you know a, a rough day at work or something and I come home and I just want to you know lounge around and instead I, I get on and I do some videos and stuff uh, you know to share content with all of you uh, so I I think that I need to take a break from Hellion is is basically I think what I'm what I'm getting down to saying I am working out a way to do sort of a fresh take on the game and I'm probably gonna wait for a couple of iterations to come out uh, just to to let some of the new gameplay mechanics and items be fleshed out before I jump back in in order to to do more videos so I think that the the Hellion videos are going to take a break for a while with that said though now I do need to uh, start filling in that space with some other content uh, and I, I want to put the, the question out to you uh, are there certain games that you would like to see I have a limited budget when it comes to new games, so a lot of times I can't get the latest, greatest fad game uh, that has just come out because I have to save my money for a game when it's on sale. Uh, so that's not... The, the chances that you'll see a, a brand new game pop up on my my service is uh, on my on my channel is fairly low now that being said there were a few games that some people pointed out to me and I want to see if I can find those. see if they're on my wish list here uh, let's see here um, 
Let's see. Uh, all right, so there was what was the hmm oh there it is ex anima uh, e x a n i m a it's uh, it's a fourteen dollar fifteen dollar uh, interesting game here and I'm um, I'm looking at it uh, I forget who it was that recommended this game to me uh but it's a it's a fantasy isometric rpg kind of like uh diablo kind of but it uses like a a, uh, a weird kind of control scheme it's not a like a point and click like you'd be expecting uh i i believe they said that you know your your actual mouse movements control things uh, so, and you have to actually like search through uh, the rooms with greater detail. So that seems like it might be interesting, and I'm thinking that I will probably pick that up. It's it's still an early access game, but uh, I wanted to see what what anybody else had in mind for similar kinds of items let's see is there anything in I wonder if there's anything in the early access that looks interesting here let's see yeah, that looks like a terraria clone Yeah, very much so. Let's see here. Lost Wing. That looks like a racing game. Elven Assassin. What is this? It's a town defense game. Yeah, that looks kind of generic. That's whatever that is, it's not for me. Let's see, Blade and Sorcery, that looks like it's a, a VR game. Yeah, it looks like it's a VR game. No, sir. No, thank you. Heroin Anthem. Uh, no. Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, clearly, you know, as you can see, I'm, I'm, or as you can tell. Uh, I'm trying to find a ooh the falling sand roguelite Noita Noita that looks interesting uh Yeah, that looks <sighs> Yeah, 
Oof. And that actually that actually looks kind of cool. Very very interesting looking. Huh. Yeah, that looks like it's uh, like a wizardry kind of game. Very interesting. Uh, we can add that one to the wish list. And that's uh, about 20 bucks, so that looks like it might be interesting. <sighs> anyway, I, I hope that you guys aren't disappointed. I know that... Uh, the, the reason that I decided to do this video is the fact that uh, unfortunately you know of all the of all the games that I have played the uh, the the one that has gotten the most attention is my Hellion and that means that you know the vast majority of you come here for my my Hellion content and I don't want to I don't want it to be the only thing that you came for and then you know to just have it stop and you know have you decide that I'm no longer worth your time because that would you know that would suck so I guess I'm rambling at this point. It's it's just it's gotten to a, a certain point where I need to to take a step back and look at what games I'm going to be playing. Uh, I am still going to be trying to do my Rogue Tech series, uh, so expect some videos on that. I actually have to do a video on that tonight, uh, so that it will be ready for tomorrow. But I wanted to put this one out uh, either instead or first in order to show the to, to let you know why there hasn't been any new uh, any new content for for my Hellion series so I I hope that you will stay with me I hope that you will take a serious look at my other content and uh, perhaps join in with some of the other stuff that I'm doing. But until next time, I'm Wrath. I hope you enjoy my stuff, and I will catch you on the flip side.